Welcome back. This is exercise three in our journey in learning Microsoft Word. If you did not watch the previous videos, it is highly recommended to watch them in the same playlist in the YouTube channel. The playlist is called Microsoft Word. So let us start. So by the end of this exercise, you will be able to do the following tasks. First, you will be able to apply numbering to a set of paragraphs. Use the find and replace feature. Add headers and footers to a document. And adding a cover page to your document. So it is time for demonstration and I will see you there. Okay, let us start the exercise three. So let us see first the exercise. As you can see, this is exercise three. Uh, step number one, it asked me to run my word program and start typing. So you will start your word program and you start typing the text between these two lines. So you will start from computer software up to the last uh, programming languages. After you type your this text, you will start following the task uh, as it's shown here, exactly as we did in the previous exercises. So I again will minimize this one so that you can see the exercises and uh, I have already typed in a document here sorry so as you can see this is the plain new document I just only uh, typed the text so you will do the same thing you will run your program word program and you start typing the text. Once you finish typing the text, you can start you, uh, doing the exercises or the task. So let me just go. Okay. So this is the task now. So task one is finished. We already typed. Now task two, again, it asks us to save the document and it gives me the name in your folder. So we will do that. So by this time, you know how to save. So we will go save as browse and here you will type the word and you will type it exactly as it's shown here and instead of your ID number you will just write replace it with your ID number then you click save now I am sure it is safe because as you see here the name is changed now we will go to a uh, step number three align title to the center and format its font size to 25 and font face to Rockwell so by this time for sure you know how to do this task so let us do it again this is the title I will select it and this is the alignment center alignment this is the first thing second it asked me to change the font size to 25 so I click that one I will search for 25 now in this case I don't have the 25 I have 24 then directly 26 in that case simply you go to the box itself and you just type the size that you want so in this case I will type 25 and I press enter so if you couldn't find the size in the list you simply type it and you press enter so this is the second thing and then in step number three the last that asked me to change the font face to there is a font face called Rockwell so again we know this we come to this menu to the font menu and we scroll down to the R to see the all the fonts that start with R yeah I think it is this one you see this is the font face Rockwell so we will choose it so now I believe we finished task number three we make the title 
uh, aligned to the center and we change the font size to 25 and the font face to Rockwell excellent now as you remember we always you are always encouraged to click save button once you finish the task okay so let's go now type for task for sorry type your first name last name ID number at the end of the document highlight your phone name with any color using already we know how to do this so again I will do it here I will print my cursor and I press enter here student name and you just type your name your own name then student ID sorry and section number you type your own section number for example I will type 3 here again I can right click your name and you say ignore all and here again ignore all and then it asks me in part uh, in task uh, 4 to highlight your full name we already did the, did this in the previous videos so you know how to do it simply selecting your full name and from here you can choose whatever color you want highlight this is we call it highlight color again I will save now number five apply any numbering for the lines word processing software up to the music software so let me see so this is uh, word processing software up to music software we will apply numbering so I will select all the lines and this time I will not go to the bullets as we did last time in the last uh, exercise this time I will come to the numbering again I will click the arrow and I have different numbering format so if the task didn't ask you a specific one you can choose the one that you want for example in my case I will choose this uh, this one for example you see it number all the lines automatically A, B, C, D and E so once again I click that to save it now uh, we finish 5 now 6 replace all the word of software to program what does it need it will replace whenever there is a word software it will remove it and instead we will type instead of it program so you see for example here I have a software here I have a software as a word uh, we have many sort here as a software here is software here is software so we have many different words in the document that are software so I want to replace all these words uh, and put instead of software I will I will put program so the manual way is to go one by one but imagine if you have a very large document so it's difficult so there is an easy uh, way to use that uh, and to do that using the find and replace feature so what you will do first you make sure that you click at the beginning of the document so that you are sure that the word will start searching from the beginning then simply in the home tab make sure that you are on the home tab we have here in the editing uh, group of commands we have here replace so you click that one you will hand the, you will have this dialog box make sure that you are in the replace tab not in the find or go to here find what in this text box you will type the word that you want to replace so here I will write software sorry and here you type the new word in this case based on the step number six it asks me to replace it with the program so I will write here program then simply I have many options here replace or replace all if I click replace it will replace the first word software by program then I can do it one by one but if you want all the word occurrences happen on the same time so you simply 
say replace all so let me click replace all and let us see if it works or not you see it finished and it's uh, it's telling me here all done we made 16 replacements so imagine very fast 16 time it make replacement and it removed software and put it in a state program so let us say ok and close let us check yes you see here it was software now it's a program here again a program here is a program you see it replace all the software with the program so this is a very powerful feature of Microsoft Word ok so let us save now let us see what have you yeah add header as computer software categories and align it to the center and uh, 7 and 8 by the way they are related to each other because 8 again it says add a footer as a computer program categories and align it to the right so we have header and a footer now what we mean by header header is this area of the document at the top okay normally you cannot access it easily you know so we have a special way to access this area and the footer is the opposite this is the bottom of the uh, document so this is the footer and this is the header you can put anything inside this area of the document so how do we do that so if i will go to the insert then as you can see here we have here in the header and footer section we have header and we have footer so you click the header as you can see we have many different types of uh, headers you can choose any one you want but for our case we will choose this uh, header it give us options to write on the left and on the center and on the right so I will choose this one as you can see it open this area and I have a new tab here it's called header and footer tools and it is in the design tab and here I have an option to type the header so based on the task it asked me add a, a, a header computer software categories so we will type this one and align it to the center so I will choose this one and I will type computer as it is required in the step software categories so here at, as it says uh, ask me computer software categories so I type it in the center now I can come here and press the delete button in the keyboard and here I get the same thing and now my header is ready to go now simply I make sure that you are in the design you can close this area here close header and footer so I close it you see now I am inside the area of the header and the color of the text is different than the body of the document so I just added the header to my document now in task number eight it asked me the same thing but this time it's the footer add a footer and this is the uh, the footer computer program categories and align it to the right so the same thing I will go to the insert but this time instead of header I will choose footer again we have many different categories you can choose whatever you want but uh, again we will choose this one because it is simple and you know I am in the footer so once I click that one it will go directly to the bottom of the document so I click that one as you can see I am now in the uh, footer area of the document again I will click this one and delete it and I click this one and delete it and I will uh, type here because it says align it to the right and this is the right now I will uh, type here computer sorry computer program categories once I finish again 
make sure that you are in the design so that you can click the close header because if you are outside for example if we buy this steak go to the home you see you cannot find the close header and footer uh, button because it should you should be in the design tab now when you click the design tab it's back here so I close this one so as you can see at the header area I have computer software categories and if I go down this is the footer area computer program categories so after I did this I will click the save button to make sure it's okay then task number nine add any cover page as you as your instructor to your document and fill required information so you know Microsoft Word has a very powerful feature that you can add a cover a complete cover page to your document and as you know cover page normally is the first cover uh, the first page in a document so Microsoft has a, a plenty of a template for the cover page so we will add now a cover page to our document so our document will be two pages the first page will be the cover page and the second page will be this page so now may we go to the insert and from insert you see here I have in the pages cover page I click that one as you can see we have here a lot of templates ready for me to use uh, so you can choose any one for example I will choose this uh, cover page this train so now look what will happen when I click this uh, template it will add this to my document as the cover page and this page will go be the second page so I'll simply click that one you see now it add this as a page cover page and this is now become the second page now normally in the cover page you can fill the information if you want for example here it give me some suggestion if you want to type the year or the document title you know it's up to you if you don't want to uh, type these you can uh, you know uh, re delete it so here for example in the year I will choose for example um, 2020 and uh, a document title for example computer software as a title and uh, let us see what is inside here again here maybe your department or your name okay you can type your name here if you want you can type your uh, company or simply you can delete if you don't want this one so let me delete this one and also that one I think this is okay so these are the required information or some optional information now simply I click save so now I have the cover page here and you have your original page here so your document now consists of two pages and simply you click save because at the end it asks me here step number 10 is to save the document so now my document is re uh, ready so you can submit this finished document to your instructor or trainer to check it up i hope this is uh, was very useful for you you learn many things and we are also we will continue in the next uh, videos and next exercises uh, i highly encourage you to repeat watching this video if you miss something or the previous videos also so it is maybe sometimes it's not enough to watch the video one time so you can repeat it one or two or three times till you master the skill uh, till the next exercise please stay safe